But today, the Attorney General uh, asked a, a court in, in Boone County, which is having an all-day hearing and, and even taking uh, testimony on things like unemployment, which weren't at issue in, in the case, but he is asking for every single order that we have put in place to protect people, every single one to be overturned and to not allow my office or me to put any orders in in the future that would help protect you and everyone else. If we have to later, no uh, ban on travel and, and the places that are so scary, no rolling back different uh, areas that might be spreading it. It's truly frightening, and I know that this Attorney General is claiming that's not what he's trying to do. But these are the words that he's asked the court to put into an order. Temporarily enjoined, which means we can't, from issuing or enforcing any portions of any executive order. No rules. Companies wouldn't even have to sanitize or use hand sanitizer. No masks. Just the Wild West. That's terrifying. In the middle of a worldwide health pandemic. And it would mean we would fail. And it means people would die. I never thought as a day-to-day -day as governor, I would have to deal with issues of life and death. And I felt every death that we have had in this virus. And one of the things that keeps me going is I know we would have so many more. I'm sure when I look back, I've made mistakes. I, I keep thinking of Washington's farewell address, where in his second to last point he made, he admitted surely he made some mistakes. But I have done everything I can to protect the people of Kentucky. I lie awake at night almost every night, wondering how many people we're going to lose, and whether we're going to go the same way as other states. This would remove the authority that virtually every other governor is using to battle this virus, and it would result in a spike. There's no question, if there's no rules, you don't have to socially distance, you don't have to sanitize your hands, the virus spreads. We all know that, it's basic scientific fact. So if we see cases, Goldman Sachs says we'll lose $10 billion in our economy, and that's just from not wearing masks. Why don't you plow everything else on top of that? I don't see how we get our kids back in schools if they're going to go home or, or out afterwards, and there are absolutely zero rules that keep the virus from spreading. And we lose more people. No school, harmed economy, and more death. After being Attorney General and being involved with, uh, with the governor in some disputes, it's, it's something I never wanted. I don't want to go back and forth uh, with my own AG, but I will fight every day for the lives of Kentuckians. And even if it creates drama that I don't want, even if it uh, takes away time, and it does, I had half my office out today because of it, I'm going to do what it takes to protect the people of Kentucky, but folks, this is wrong. It is really, really wrong. Don't play politics with the lives of people. It, don't play politics with the lives of people. The request that's made wants to eliminate every single ability to enforce any of the healthy at work requirements, any of them. No capacity limits anywhere. Fill up a stadium. Full bar all the way out. You know, people out in the streets. We know how deadly that can be, and it's just plain irresponsible. But I want you to know that what this would do would do more than just destroy our economy, cost lives, and keep kids from being back in schools. You know, the orders that are included here also include expanding workers' compensation eligibility for workers that have to quarantine as a result of exposure. That means our first responders, our active military, our grocery store workers wouldn't get workers' comp when they come down with the virus that they got for protecting us. It'd leave them out in the cold. It would also eliminate my waiver of copay, deductibles, and cost sharing and diagnostic testing fees 
for private insurance. It would charge people for taking these tests. That's pretty important. And those are the facts, and that's the truth. And we face all of this at a time when our cases continue to be high. We have another day where we're over 400 cases. Today we are reporting 413 new cases of COVID-19, bringing our total number to 21,083. 